Today's tutorial is on how to do the braided V-stitch in the Sleep Tight Teddy Bear Blanket Set. <clears throat> I've already started with the beginning rows, which is your foundation rows, and then you're going to work two rows of shell stitches. So to begin your the braided V-stitch, you're going to work and you're going to follow the pattern. I don't have the full pattern in here. I'm just going to show you those braided V's. So when it gets to the point where you need to start working those V's and it says to chain four is how you're going to begin that V stitch. So you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Then it says to slip stitch in the chain space from three rows below. So this is your first row and this is going to be your second row, that chain space between those V stitches. And this is actually the beginning chain. And that's actually going to be a stitch down there. So you're going to bring your hook down, you're going to slip stitch into it. Sometimes it's easier if you kind of fold over the, the piece that you're working with. And now you're going to have this loop right here. That's your chain four space. Now you're going to rotate your work and you're going to work into that chain space and you're going to work four single crochets. You're not going to begin with a chain, you're just going to start with those four single crochets. So there's one, two, again I'm just going around that chain. You're not working into the individual chains, just work around the chain. Then you're going to turn your work so it's facing you. So you've created half of that V stitch right there. Now you're going to work into the V, the chain space of the V of your current row, which is this right here. And you're going to work another shell stitch, which is your two half double crochets. So there's one, two, then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then work two more half double crochets into that same chain space. So there's one, Now you're going to chain four again to create the other side of that V. So one, two, three, four, and then drop back down and you're going to go into that exact same space as your last slip stitch. And you're going to slip stitch into there. Let's see, you've got your chain space. And then you're going to rotate it again and you're going to work four single crochets working back up along that chain. So working around the chain, work your four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to rotate your work. So you can see you've got a V here. There's one side and there's your other side. And then you're going to continue onto this side and work the remaining section of the pattern. I'm just working a little strip here just to kind of show you this V stitch to see how it works. So that's your V stitch. I'm going to work the next row across, which you're going to, it's just going to be a simple row of half double crochets, and then you're going to work a shell stitch in top of that shell, shell stitch. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at that V-stitch and we're going to begin again with our chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to slip stitch again three chains down from the, your current row. So this is your first row. This is actually the chain of your second row. So this is going to be the chain of your third row down. So you're skipping that shell and this shell and working into that space right there. So again, you're going to go in, grab that chain, slip stitch, twist your work, and work four single crochets in this chain space. One, two, three, four. Turn your work like you traditionally would, and you can see that V, that side of the V right there. And you're going to work your shell stitch into this chain space of the shell from the previous row. 
the shell stitch is two half double crochets, chain two, and two half double crochets. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into that same space. Again, rotate your work, kind of pinch it, manipulate it if you have to. Keep twisting it, and now work those four single crochets up along that chain again. Whoops, sorry about moving the camera there. So there's one, two, three, four. Rotate your work so it's facing you like you should, and then you can complete the next section of your work. And that is how you complete the shells. And you just continue to repeat those rows of working four chains, slip stitching three rows down, and you get these braided looks. It's like It looks like a braided V. And you will notice on here that these single crochets on this side are facing up. So the bottom of the stitch is here, and then the top is here. And it is the opposite on this side. So the bottom of the stitch is actually this part and then the top of the single crochets are here because you're just kind of twisting. But once you're done, you just kind of, you kind of notice that you get these raised V's along your work. So, and that's what helps to show that great texture in the sleep tight teddy bear blanket. <laughs>